And this for me was a very interesting show to moderate for those of you who were able to watch it because my oh my, at some point the table got so heated. Take a look. You can't fight a woman. You can't fight a woman. And it was in the public, I didn't know. Even myself, I woke up in the morning, I saw myself on TV, reading my article, oh, Eric Omba did this, Eric Omba did this. I was, it was a surprise. Mimi nilikuwa 100% sure ya kwamba hii ndoa ita endelea na itafanya kazi. And we were so much, we were role models to so many people, to so many young people. Mm. Lakini mm. wakati mm. ndoa ilianza kuperekewa watu, kupeano kwa mikono mm. ya watu, hapo sasa ndo ndoa iliharibika. A lot of relationships, a lot of marriages are ending because one party will accuse the other party of cheating. And unfortunately for the party that is accusing, Mm. the other party of cheating they don't always get the closure that they require because the other person will either necessarily not own up to the cheating or sometimes they really did not cheat at all yes yes exactly and for me that was a wonderful show to watch because it showed men being vulnerable we need to see more of that men being vulnerable and of course the the, the when when a relationship ends it's very very painful because it's a process of also mourning you're mourning the death of a relationship and so now when it comes to cheating infidelity is very very painful because it pretty much means that you're taking what was special to us and you're giving it to somebody else and so a lot of the the times you find that especially for men the man will end up blaming the woman i cheated because you are this or because you did this to me or because of this particular incident and also women are also cheating women are also cheating and for for men and women both of us we hurt but sometimes we hurt differently for men because of our ego we tend to handle cheating in a very 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 uh, rage, in a, in a raging kind of a so manner. So it's usually more about it's, yes. the ego. The ego. Like, how dare you do this to, to me? You're embarrassing yes. me. It's to me. You're damaging so if, me. Sometimes I tend to think yes. it's less... A, it, it, it gets to a point with men, and I've seen this. Yes. Uh, it's less about the act of cheating, but it becomes more about manhood. Yes. Yes. Because yes. 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 you have to... As, as a man, most men feel like you have to protect that ego no matter what. And so it becomes very difficult to swallow that, oh my goodness, you did this. And sometimes you find that the, the, the man will say, why are you doing this? And yet he also is doing that. So men sometimes give themselves a pass for cheating, but if a woman cheats, oh my goodness. So yes. let's go to that yeah. because men sometimes give themselves, give themselves a pass for cheating and truth be told we do live in a society whereby boys are socialized from a very young age to be told that the more women you have the more women you're with the more of a man it makes you mm. but the narrative is very different for girls because till today the narrative is girls you need to save yourself till marriage yeah. but unfortunately in today's world that is really not the case so how are we able now to get to a point whereby men now respect the fact that cheating is it's wrong. Mm, mm. Cheating has nothing to do with gender. It's about commitment. It's just about you as a person. What is your value system? Yeah. If you're in a relationship with someone and you've chosen to commit to this person and then now you end up basically breaking that promise or breaking that covenant, yeah. especially if it's in marriage, yeah. John. Uh, let me start by picking where Tayan left, <laughs> talking about infidelity or cheating. And the man is okay cheating, but I want to say for every couple that I have taken through on issues of cheating, the issues that cause a man, even a man to cheat, are deep within them. Mm. Some unmet needs. What makes me say that? Because if a woman does a man wrong, and that man is healthy, he will use the healthy methods of solving the wrong or dealing with the conflicts. So if the woman did this, and this is the reason why I cheated, the question would be, now, is that the only way of solving that issue? Is it even a method of solving the issue? Mm. So it is a hidden need deep within. What would make the ego so huge? Because you can be a real man, a man that we all admire, if you solve issues even better. Mm. That promotes your ego and makes you feel better. So really, it's not a question of... Um, we have to pamper this ego. Mm. It is the question of asking, what is the unmet need within me? So that if my, my spouse wrongs me, when my spouse stops giving me that need, then I have to go and search for it out there. And the thing is, a lot of the times, if you're going to search for it out there, 
the next person you're with, you will end up cheating on them again. So it becomes a vicious yeah. yes. cycle. Because you're, you're teaching yourself not to be faithful. You yes. are, you're, you're, you're learning things that are not good for, for what it is that you want to do. So you're teaching yourself things, these, these things. And so once you, you have to realize what's the end game. If the end game is to have a solid marriage, if the end game is this, then what can I do in the long run to actually get that? Because most of the time if you jump outside, you're looking for a quick fix. And then that quick fix ends up complicating what you already had, and then you also now complicate what you, the new things you're going to. So the, 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 uh, the sequence of events just unfolds and it's ugly. And for sometimes us men, even though we don't like to admit it, we hurt when we cheat. We hurt. It breaks us apart. But we may look good to our boys, like, ah, you know, I did that, I did that. The ego the thing. The ego thing. Mm. But once we close the door, we're like, what did I do? So and it yes, all comes yes. down to just addressing the underlying yes. emotional issues. Yes, yes. You have to yeah. put in the work yes. mm. to fix yourself. And a lot of the times I tend to find that we focus more on the other person mm. fixing themselves yes. for you vis-a-vis yes. -vis you fixing yourself first for you yes. before now looking at, okay, how is this person perhaps reacting to who I am, mm. finding out whether you're compatible or not. Yes. Yeah. If you're going to change, don't change for your spouse. Change for you. And even as we're talking about infidelity and cheating, there are many, many cases, cases whereby there's been that incident and then couples find a way to make things work. So let's the, talk yes, about yes, that yes, one. Yes, and I want to invite the viewers, please mm. get on that hashtag or the SMS line. Let me know, do you feel like in a, we live in a society whereby men are allowed to cheat? And as a woman, when a man cheats, you are expected to forgive and move along. So you've mm. raised a very valid point yes. because of that question that mm. I've asked, mm. in our society, women are coded to almost believe that he will cheat. Mm. I mean, if Beyonce was cheated on, mm. I've had, you know, in salons, yeah, it comes yeah, up. Yeah. If Beyonce was, was cheated on, who are you? Yes, yes. So yeah. on mm. that context, mm -hmm. how do you get past cheating mm. and have a healthy relationship? Mm. It, the one who cheats, whether it's a man or a woman, has to accept the fact that I did wrong. It was my decision. You did not lead me to it. I choose to do that and I'm sorry Thank about you. it. You know? you. <laughs> and Thank then you. You, you, you make amends for that because usually the problem is that the one who cheats justifies the cheating or blames you for the cheating. And uh, just to speak because I, I see a lot, even for, I have a group called Anome Assembly and in that group also men are saying women also cheat. Women they also do. cheat. They also do. So even whoever it is that has cheated, because for myself, I've counseled both men and women who have cheated in both kind of situations where both the person who's cheated has to accept, I did wrong and I messed up and I'm sorry. And then the one who's been cheated on has the liberty to say, I forgive you and stay or I forgive you and I go or I don't even forgive you and they carry that hard to, uh, along their life. So it's, it's, it's a decision that has to be made. But you need to remember, love your spouse as you love yourself. If you don't want your spouse to cheat, don't cheat. If you want your spouse to be pleasing and loving to you, be pleasing and loving to your spouse. So obviously, cheating is a very big topic when it comes to relationships. And I'm asking you, do you believe that we live in a society whereby men are socialized to believe that it is okay for the man to cheat? And women, that you must forgive. After all, all men cheat. Get on that hashtag, Real Talk with Tamima, and as well via the SMS line on your screen. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. But right now, it's time for a very quick break. We'll be right back.